Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we are learning about the angular SSR hydration concept. The hydration concept is completed. So right now we need to learn about the incremental hydration. So before learning of this incremental hydration, actually I have forgot to explain you one concept that is nothing but deferred loading in the templates. So what is this deferred loading with the adherent defer thing? So the incremental hydration works with this adherent defer only. So that's why I want to explain you the concept about this defer and then of course we will jump back again to the incremental hydration. So defer, the, what is deferred loading with the adherent defer? The deferred loading allows you to, uh, I will try to copy this one so that you can able to understand very quickly. So here I will close these all the components and here I will try to, yeah. So the deferred loading allows you to optimize performance, the uh, optimize application performance by postponing, by postponing the loading of components, directives and pipes until they are needed. This approaches reduce the initial bundle size and improves metrics like largest content full paint and also the time to the first byte. So this is the main thing. So why we use this adherent defer block you can be able to see so there is nothing but so we will be using the defer block you can delay loading of non-critical resources and specify content to display during various lo loading states like placeholder loading or error. I will try to show you how to use this defer. So for example let's say that we are having a large component. So I will try to create NGGC large component. Let's say, assume that we are having a large component and we need to load this large component. So let us try to load this large component. So now if you try to see it here. So this is a this is this is a new application so which I have started Angular F and Defer. So just I am trying to show you. This one is not a server side application. This is a client side application only. And afterwards we'll jump back to the incremental hydration. So first of all we'll try to understand about this Defer concept. So let us load this one. So it will take some time to load. Let it load. So fine. So here the large component has been loaded. So here this is the large component and this is our TS file and also here I will be using the large component.html file. Fine. So now this is our TS file and now let's say that in our app.component.html file let's assume that we are having some uh, component loading uh, sorry this is the component app and at the bottom somewhere you will be having app iphone large iphone component okay so this is our component and here we will be adding this one and now if you try to check this one npm start and i will be trying to check for you let us try to check it so now here the page has been loaded let's try to see it and if i try to refresh this page so here you'll be able to see the component app and also the large component is also working let's assume that so this is fine so now here we are loading the large component right let's assume that this one is a small component so that's why we are not able to see any performance delay or something like that so if you try to see here the js files also it's getting loaded which are is needed client polyfills and main.js these are all the files is needed so these are all normal platform browsers and all those things these are getting loaded so fine so now we are able to understand this one all so this is a chunk file which is getting loaded okay so these are all normal files which are getting loaded now for example let's say that okay so this one is a 3g it is in 3g not throttling it try to keep it yeah so these are all the files which are getting loaded fine so now what I want to do it is so for example let's say that I want uh, uh, this large component works so to be loaded after rendering of this entire application so then what we can do it is here in our app.component.html for whichever the component you want to load it so you will be using differ and here you can use something like like this that's it so now the app iphone large iphone component and its dependencies are loaded only when the specified trigger occurs that means default browser ideal state so here this one will have a when, when the browser is in the ideal state so now this component will be loaded now if you try to check it here so if you try to refresh this page so a extra chunk file will be created for this one so you will be able to see an extra chunk file for this one okay and this chunk file will be created for this see the type is called large component and this one is be loaded so this is how normally the differ thing will work so that means nothing but lazy loading of the component you can simply say it as lazy loading of the component so if you want to load the component lazily means so then it will minimize the bundle size so that this app iphone large iphone component will be uh, loaded in a separate chunk or separate js file so that the bundle size will be minimized so not only this one for example let's say that this one is a large component and by the time when this component is getting loaded if you want to add a placeholder or something like that means before the deferred content loads you can display the placeholder content using the adherent placeholder 
so for this one you can add it something like placeholder like this placeholder and here you can add it uh, something some some data you can use it something like uh, please wait okay div loading please wait so until this component gets loaded so this placeholder will be coming so when uh, when the initial rendering happens so now here if you try to refresh so here you will be able to see loading please wait and then after us large component occurs and also you can also set the minimum display time for the placeholder also to avoid the flickering so immediately something like that you can also have i can also add the minimum time so that is nothing but minimum sorry minimum minimum 500 milliseconds you can add it like this also you can add it it's not a problem so now if i try to show you for this so you will be able to see that minimum 500 milliseconds it has been added so here the placeholder remains visible for at least 500 milliseconds before being replaced by the different content so we can also have you can also use the another block that is nothing but loading block to specify the content that appears while deferred dependencies are being fetched so that means when the content when the main content is loading placeholder will be displayed so when this compo component is getting loaded then you can also show some other content something like here you can use fetching content so here i can use something like in between this one so anywhere you can use it so here at the rate loading and here i can use something like uh, div fetching content so when it is trying to fetch the content after successfully when it is trying to load the component so then this fetching component will work now if you try to show you the output so here you will be able to see first the loading will come then after this fetching will come then after this large component will come so if i try to show you in the slow 4g then you will be able to observe i think so first loading will come then fetching content then large component so like this so first the placeholder appears first once loading begins the loading content replaces the placeholder so you can also add the timing parameters for this loading also so that is also one other thing you can also add the timing parameters also so you can control how the how long the loading state appears first one is minimum and after so minimum means ensures the loading content is shown for a minimum duration and after means waits for a separate uh, specified time after being show, showing the loading content so that means what i can say it is so here for this loading it should be load after 100 milliseconds and it should wait minimum minimum one second okay it should be minimum one second so it should be loaded after uh, what i can say is 100 milliseconds after 100 milliseconds and it should be one second minimum one second that's it so you can also use the placeholder or otherwise not needed so here if i try to show you see fetching content you will be having so immediately you will be able to see so large con uh, you'll be able to see the loading please wait and then afterwards fetching content like that you'll be able to see so the loading block appears 100 milliseconds after the loading starts it remains visible for at least one second see so that is one thing not only this one, you can, you can also handle the errors also. If the deferred loading fails, means you can display an error message using the error block. So that means nothing but what you can do it is. So here you can use at the rate error and here you can use ptag failed to load component or com content. Okay. Please, please try again later. That's it. So now you can use like this also. So if app hyphen large hyphen common fails to load means then the error block is displayed. So you can also, uh, so now by combining all these things, it will look like something like this. So you'll be using the defer, placeholder and also loader and also the error. So this is how you will be using. So now <coughs> triggers, uh, triggers also there for this defer loading. By default, deferred content loads when the browser becomes ideal. However, you can specify custom triggers like user interaction or conditions also we can do it. So I will try to show you that one when we are trying to work on the triggers thing. In the next video, I will explain you. So this is all about the things. And to ensure successful different loading, dependencies, uh, components, directives, pipes inside the differ block must be standalone. So that is one thing. So whatever the component you are trying to do, the directives and the pipes, everything, whatever you are using inside this component, all must be standalone. Dependencies should not be referenced outside the differ block in the in same file. And also another uh, and that is all about this one. So this approach is optimized the performance and provides a smooth user experience. So that's it guys about this different concept basic thing. So hope you understood about this different thing. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, 
please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you